Uh, and I'm done. Whatever. I want a drink. Okay, let's do a review of today's game, then we'll do a quick Mondays on the side. Who wants to start today? Jerry? Graham, did that almost feel like a defeat? Did that late equaliser? Well, we're really disappointed because we dropped two points at home. We wanted to win. I think you saw the intention of the team. Um, there was a lot of positive things in the performance. But ultimately, we haven't defended well enough. And uh, to concede two goals means it's it's not so easy to win the game. So uh, that's a disappointing thing for us. Okay, who's next? Just, just uh, on the general performance, Graham. I mean, it, it feels like it, there, there was a, probably a time when you felt that every time around the game, but it, your players let them back rather than them kind of coming back into. Well, I, I think. You have to credit Everton, they, they do what they do well, um, they use their physicality, they use the set pieces, they they ask you a question, but I think most of the game we, we controlled fairly well, as much as you can at this level, um, but ultimately the first goal is really disappointing from a set piece perspective, we spoke about that before the game, and then the second goal we haven't attacked well enough, and then um, expose ourselves to a big space to defend and haven't done it well enough so um, <clears throat> these little small things that um, when you look at how much we put into the game and how much we try to attack to 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 be cheap with the goals we conceded is frustrating Adam Hi Graham Hi Where's the finance and how the place structure is today is that anything to be about or do you think still going to join up the problems? I'm not sure yet, I don't know. Um, he was fatiguing at the end, uh, went down, uh, we thought it was cramp, so let's hope it is, um, but I haven't assessed it yet fully. David Day. Do you think, all considered, this is a step back compared to your latest games, or you still see positive things that make you say that maybe you, can, you, made, you made a step forward? No, I think result wise it's a step back because we wanted to win, but performance wise, I think it's a step forward. I think there was a lot good in the game. Um, I thought we were tapped well, Jao, Kai, CP were, were positive in the first pass, certainly. Um, Reese and Chile used the width well, Enzo I thought was creative in midfield, so there lots of Wesley drove the game well. So individual performances was, were positive, uh, the team intention was good, but again the feeling is frustration because we've, we've dropped points. Neil. Uh, first of all, fitness, after the equator and Albany on the way available and just got selected? Or? Um, Aspilicueta not available he's had a knock in training so he's had a problem there and Aubameyang was fit but not selected what, what was the dressing room like was it was it quiet was it disbelieving or was it angry was it uh, madness I would say all three or four I thought it was a good summary were you in there <laughs> <laughs> um, because that's a good summary of it yeah that was exactly what it was because the boys are disappointed. Were people talking about what went wrong, where they picking people out and saying, "This is how we need to do better." Um, yeah, I think I'd like to keep the conversation private, um, but yeah, the boys were were frustrated because I think they put a lot into the game and their intention was there. It was they wanted to win, and um, as I said, performance-wise, it was quite a strong performance I thought from uh, from us. But ultimately, we're really, really frustrated because we can't concede the goals we did and expect to win games. Young lady behind. Hi, Graham. Um, how Hi. come Gallagher's always your first half when he's starting? Sorry. How come Gallagher's always your first half when he's starting? Um, well, if he doesn't start, then there's a chance that he can be the first sub. Um, but um, you know we used Cover and Enzo in midfield, so it was just a tactical decision there. And then the front three was Jao Kai and, and and Christian Pulisic, just from a profile of player. They're a bit more um, dribblers. I, I went for Christian in that in that in that role there. So Connor's been really unlucky because he's he's whenever he comes on, he does really well. So um, he he will be frustrated and and rightly so. But uh, we think the world of him, and he's he's a fantastic team player. Andy. Hi Graham. Hi. Um, Jean Felix tonight looked particularly spirited and, uh, and alive, um, and as a result, he seemed to get quite a battery. Uh, in a way, I guess that's some sort of compliment. He's going to be, perhaps, I don't know if you agree, but he's going to be one of those players that's going to get kicked mm. quite a lot. I wonder if you mind talking generally about that, but also, in particular, I noticed there was the incident with Tarkovsky when he caught up with him. It almost looked like an act of retribution where he's grabbed him around the neck 
pulled him to the ground and your player was complaining about it some moments later to the referee. I mean, Tarkovsky had a hand in the Everton equaliser. Um, I mean, there's all sorts of repercussions that you can follow on from it, but I just wonder if you've noticed that that incident as well and what you thought of Felix and, and the physical treatment he gets. No, I, I think Chow played a really good game. I thought he mixed his game up well. He ran in behind, he linked up, dropped in. I thought he combined well with Kai and with um, Christian and Enzo and Kova. So really happy with his performance. I mean, you know, it's the Premier League. There's, there's going to be physicality. You expect that. Um, it's up to the referees to, to see the, all the incidents. But um, no, we're, we're happy with Jao. We're, we're happy with how he affected the game today. And he's, he's adapting and learning all the time. So it's positive for us. Did you see the incident that he's referring to where the counter-attack where he got grabbed? Completely I, off the ball? Yeah, I didn't, see, I didn't see it live. I've seen it, I've seen it back. I think. Is it a red card? Uh, it's, um, I'm not sure. No, I'm not a referee. Okay, last two in this section for today, Liam and then Tom to finish. Hi, Graham. Hi. Um, the team seemed to take a little bit of a step back once you were ahead. Was that like a conscious tactical decision or was that something that happened in, in the moment the way Everton were coming out? No, it certainly wasn't, a, it wasn't conscious. I think, um, as I said, I think Everton used their strengths well. They, they, uh, they've got physicality, they used Decore and Anana, long balls and second balls and throw-ins and set pieces to create pressure to create danger you know they've always done that well Sean um, so it's not easy to control it as well as you'd like but um, yeah I think we we, we, we lost we lost um, a little bit of control for a short period of time and when we did we conceded and that's the frustrating bit okay last one in this section Tom Graham Kai had a bit of a um, colourful celebration after his uh, penalty. He, he, was, he had his tongue out and he had his hands on his head towards Jordan Pickford. Um, I just wondered whether that was kind of something you'd advise him against doing, especially as because of what's happened now. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I think when players score, sometimes they have an out of body experience, don't they? I, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, I didn't score many myself, so I wouldn't know. Um, but I think, yeah, you, you should enjoy the celebration and um, in, enjoy it for, for that. And I don't think you need to involve the opponent in it, with my, with my perspective. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you. Quick Monday on the side.